Alright everybody, my name is Father Nicholas and we will be playing some Shizukas again. We are up against Mr. Captain Games, who is a novice opponent, sadly. No, I don't like having to fight novices so much, but it just happens when I record in the morning. Well, they go first, which is a boon for them, and they're running a leopard. Leopard, bounty hunter, pre quirky damage stress team. And I wonder what they go for first. They go for the pool and the plague doctor. See, I figured this would have happened because I wanted to bring a plague doctor team. So, what I'm gonna do now is go for the immediate duelist advance on this leper and reposition my plague doctor. Now, she is back in position to do whatever she wants and. Wow, that's quite an eager sniper shot. It doesn't even do enough. And now I can just drop a battle ballad. Give myself some of the juicy accuracy. And yeah, I'm running a DOT team. You see, yesterday I've played against uh, Mr. Shepherd Doggy. And wow, that's a very satisfying to see perch. Um, yeah. I played against Shep and I ran DOT Leper, so I figured, you know what, let's try our Plague Doctor for a change. I've been playing so many meta teams and oh that's so juicy. I've been playing so many meta teams and just, I wanted to try something different, something cool, you know, and who's cooler than the Plague Doctor herself? So I'm gonna start stacking those Plague Grenades now, uh, why would you finish? Uh, 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 whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and search up this leper, maybe. Start applying those blades. I'm running Crushed Hemlock out of this Jester and the Flatulent, just make them super aggressive. Now, question is does the just does the Vestal. Oh, Leper has Intimidate. And she has Judgment. Oh, that's pretty bad. I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, that's a very nice heal. Now she won't get one shot. That's pretty wonderful. Um, now, I just need to keep stalling. What? Why would she preemptively heal? I cannot tell you. But what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and drop Punish onto this leper. Just focus him down a bit. Make sure that he starts to hurt and bleed. Light. No, I don't think that does enough. Yeah, it does six. It is some stress, so that could be juicy. Uh, who has the highest dodge? You have the highest dodge, so let's debuff you. And yeah, now my Highwayman is ready to roll. That crit when he was before the vendor above, by the way, so that's like probably a max or crit or something. As life and I'm in a pretty tough spot. Uh, I mean, I can't keep healing. Themselves. Keep forcing them to uh, whatever. They don't really have a finisher, even though they're a damage team. Which is uh, strange. A this is enough, sadly. But what is also going to be quite hurtful is this. For the six, you're not dropping yet, but you will very, very soon. They have already used up their. Oh, they're going to judgment. I would have gone for this one myself, but they're novice, so I can't blame them. I'm just going to punish this leper, make sure that he drops down to zero now, and give him a choice. Oh, he has no solemnity. Well, I have a finisher, so I'm very likely to just get a kill here and yeah. They get a kill here too, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. The PD doesn't live. They have so much reach. But he survives this too. That's very unfortunate for me. They're going to collect Bounty the Flagellant. I don't think that's a smart idea in the world. 
I'm just going to go ahead and finally kill this leper. Give them no quarter. And I still have my finale ready. Now, what do they go for? They go for the sniper shot and the flagellant, which just means that I can go for a redeemer exsanguinate if I want to. Now, I'm going to go aggressive here. He has no dodge, so he can't really. Oh, come on. Really? Has only 35% bleed, I mean bleed resist. So that was like a 65% chance to get it. So unfortunate. They stand the jester here, which is the correct move. And if only I had an herbalist. If only I did. Well, I'm just going to open Vayne's Bounty Hunter. Make sure that he is the one hurting now. And yeah. What do they want to go for here? They want to Battlefield Bandage. I don't really agree with it, but... I'm just gonna click here. Nothing wrong with that, I think. And... They're going to try and stun the Flagellant. Well, let's see if it works. Yes, it does work. Oh, that's... that's pretty bad. Um, they can go for a really nasty finish him now. So let's just go ahead and... Make sure that you get properly punished for it. That's six. Damn, it's not enough. If only it had... No, they go for the click bounty than Madman. That's so much more damage potential with this. Well, that's just a misplay of the century if I ever saw one. Well, now my jester is ready to drop a finale on whoever he wants. The question is on who. Well, they got a crit on that, which is unfortunate. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and exsanguinate him again. If she doesn't heal now, I'm just going to Gurg stab and wicked slice him. And she goes for it. 19. Well, you know what I say to that? I say. A wicked slice. Well, that's a bit overkill, but it works. And now my jester is ready to take another kill here. And he whiffs, as you should, bounty hunter. I take the kill, naturally. And now my opponent is in a really, really tough spot. But it is not over yet. The Orbalist can still win because of Pola. Now my Flagellant is out of position, which is sad, but... Huh. And let's just maybe... Oh yeah, that's really good. Um, I think I'm just gonna drop the finale of the Arbalest. You should have doesn't like the Jester, but... You know... Navis may not know much better, so I'm just going to take the Arbalest here. And now my opponent only has the best of. Is there a winning shot for my opponent here? I don't think they, there is. I mean, they can just stun somebody, I guess. And they don't even bother to read the stun resistance, which is well, better for me, I suppose. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a wicked slice and then drop the punish. Fail both the bleed and the blight again. And just drop a harvest. Again, fail the bleed and the blight. What is what is up with this vestal? She has no rest to cure all. And now I'm just gonna surrender. 
And here we go straight into a match number 2 against a veteran opponent, Mr. LZN. Which means there will be no more mercy from me. <laughs> well, if you call, call that a mercy... Um, they're running... Uh, WD except Vestal. Uh, they, they have three stunners. That's gonna be fun to fight against. Then I go second, which is really unfortunate in a team like this. Wait, why would you have exact snap on the Jester? That's so wild. Well, since there's a stun team and I'm a DOT team, I think it shouldn't be too bad. Monster. Ah, damn. Oh crap. I suppose I'll just go ahead and do this. They have no bounty under, so they can't really make use of those uh, stuns all that much. I guess you can try and dazzle my my flagellant. Uh, now you get basically no value from your crusader, so that's good for me. So I'm just gonna drop a take grenade. My PD should be relatively safe here. No pulls, no nothing. I go for the Zealous and miss the Highway guy, which is very, very nice. You'll have to see it. I guess I'll just click him. And the clock is ticking for my opponent. Will they... Oh, they're gonna go for the immediate Dirk stuff. No, uh... No Battle Ballad, I see. I like the aggressive play. They're gonna go for the... Transform and slam, I presume? Yeah, transform slam. They want to get rid of my flagellant, do they? I can see that. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the uh, harvest. Man, I really hate failing, like, bleeds and blights. Come on, you have no accuracy. How do you hit those? Well, before anything silly happens, I'm just gonna drop another play grenade here. Make sure that both my opponent's characters start to hurt a lot. And what do they go for? I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Vendel on the Chester probably. Or maybe open Vein on the Abomination. We will see. They're gonna preemptively heal. Um, okay. Alright, I guess. I'm just gonna beef up my Highland if you don't mind. And fail the debuff on Jester, sadly. Don't worry, he's still gonna take quite a lot. Even if you Dirk stop my Flagellant, I still have a Redeem, so... Now they're gonna Dirk stop my Jester and give me even more Redeem value. Oh, that's not enough, apparently. Well then, that uh, sucks. I don't imagine you do enough damage though. It's 15 with some Pratt. Is it? Oh, it's, not, it's gonna be enough in Jester. That's unfortunate. I'm still going to go ahead and just drop uh, a dose class of the A bomb here. Make sure that whatever attack they want to go for, they're going to have to pay for. They're going to slam my flagellant again. And I... They really love those slams, huh? And yeah, they do have some cool chance. Now, do they have a finisher? No, they don't. Do they have reach? No, they don't. So, I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and play grenade here. It's really sad that you had to use your finale as your first kill, but it is what it is. Our vessel is gonna be dropping pretty soon. Oh, that's a really nice grid, but no stun resistance, sadly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the redeem here and be happy. No great heals, sadly. Mm -hmm. 
and they're gonna. Yeah. I love stun teams. <laughs> hmm. well, I'm just gonna clear this time with my highwayman. Give myself a nice repost again. And what do they want to go for? A stun on a stunned character. Oh, good job. They reapply the stun. And yeah, no matter who they go with, they're gonna be at death's door here. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. And they're just gonna keep healing. Now watch my flagellant get stunned. <laughs> Call it? Yes, I freaking called it. A hand from becoming unwound. She doesn't want to move forward here. Well, I suppose uh, it is one of the plays all the time. Damn, I really should have saved my Vendetta. Now, do I really want to waste my Plague Duck direction? I think not yet. Not yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe drop this abomination down to zero. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. They waste turns on healing, which is good for me. And they don't really have a big damage spike, so I might as well just drop more of those. I can't really do a whole lot. I mean, they can just keep healing, but the stress is gonna stack up. Even if you get divine graces like that. And what do they want to go for? Now is it gonna be a race into the next stab? Now it's gonna be a very dodgy, very chancy stun which they don't get. See this is what happens when you get greedy. But they will dirk stab and it is gonna be sadly enough. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Now I think I need to go for the X tank here, just for the uh, tempo. I'm gonna go further than the Crusader, and I get both of those. That's very, very good for me. You keep trying to stun my husband, I don't think that's the play. I mean, you do some damage, but... Is it a lot? I don't think so. Come on. Yes, it is enough. Right. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Well, now they have to keep healing, and the problem with that is, uh, their health just keeps going down, as they do. I'm gonna go for the Divine Comfort. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Come on. Heal for four, please. Oh, it's five. That's so annoying. We're gonna try and dirk stab my flagellant and fail. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this. And get some blight on the Dark Crusader. Yeah, it doesn't do enough. Very good. Now, 
even if you heal with the Crusader or the Vestal, you are probably gonna take enough damage to drift right back down to zero. And that's not gonna do enough damage, my good sir. No, it won't. The Abomination is still taking enough damage. The Crusader is definitely taking enough damage. Now, who should I go with? Uh, I want to drop the redeem here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and drop uh, Noxious Blessing as Jester. Get some of that DLT going on him. And since he's in the reach of my highwayman, things are gonna look pretty grim for him. Sailor is also dropping. I'm gonna go for the preemptive heal with a crit too. That's so unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, you're taking enough, you're taking enough. I guess I'm just gonna drop you. So there's paranoid, meaning he can do all sorts of stuff. What's he gonna do? Move back into harvest. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, I'm just gonna drop a redeem here and be happy. My opponent is taking down to zero. And I'm very happy with that outcome. Because even if you heal, I mean, I have way more DLT stacked up onto you than you can heal off. Famous last words. <laughs> gonna stun the Plague Doctor. That's quite unfortunate. The Jester is dropping down to zero. Might as well just click the PD here. Go for the stun the highway guy. Ugh. A DLT team versus a stun team. I guess this is what's gonna happen. If you don't self-heal here, I'm just going to... Oh, they're gonna go for the chancy stun. They get it. No, they don't. Is this enough? Nope, it's not enough. So I'm just gonna take a recombination here. I have very good 25. Now the clock is sticking on your Vesto, and your gesture is almost gone. That is probably gonna be a stun, yes it is. And now your gestures drop down to zero. Does he do anything funny? No, he does not. That's not even enough. That's so sad to see. Well, before anything silly happens, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill your jester. He was enough of a menace already. And what do they want to go for here? You don't have a lot of stuff that you can do. You go for the Zealous. It just gives me, you know, heal value from the Flagellant. And just like that, all that Harvest DOT is gone. That Vestal is dropping down to zero also. They're gonna stun my Plague Doctor, which is, I mean, I guess it's something. But it is not enough, in my opinion. Because even if you get the stuns, like... Uh, they're probably gonna... Try and stun my flagellant, so I'm just gonna go ahead and punish the crusader. 
make her forced to use a heal instead of going for the stance. I failed that bleed, which is very unfortunate. And now all of them have stun resistance. So, good luck dealing with that. I go for the stun on the flagellant, which is really chancy, and they do get it. Which means that I can just, you know, heal. I can just heal and be happy here. It probably won't even do enough damage now. Dazzling Light is just like that. Crusader. Yes, that's a very good bleed to get. How much does it heal? Oh, there. It's gonna probably heal for like 7. Well, they have to heal here. Yeah, they do. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, come on, get some DOT. Uh, I mean, I guess I get some Blight. That's uh, good, I guess. Not good enough for me though. Come on, sorry, Buckle. Do me a favor. Mm, doesn't. And this is this match is quite a slug, but once these corpses do go away, it's gonna be pretty difficult for this vessel to stay alive. Come on, it. Uh, that was so chancy, I said. I'm just gonna click the flagellant here. That crusader is... I'm just gonna drop another heal with the play doctor. He has heals, I have heals. He has stuns and I have DLT. Oh, that's not enough. But it is enough to... Uh, uh. Oh, the corpse has gone away now. That is quite good. Now I can reach this damn Vestal. Go for the stun with PD. They get it? Uh, yes, they do. Of course. And now I'm just gonna wait out their turn. They can either go for a stun or heal. Oh, that's... that is very risky. Injury and despondence. I mean, you do take some of my health, but... I just get a free 25. Or do I? Yes, I... yes, I do. But now it's pretty much GG for my opponent. And they surrender. 